He does what he does best. Hello. Welcome to another episode of So Cornback King's Talk. And this is a week in a nutshell. Let's get started. And let's hop into this week for real. Welcome to another week in a nutshell where you're listening on one of the many following audio networks. Or you're just catching my face on YouTube. Thank you. Kings beat Ducks 2-1 and it was vintage John Quick. I felt like I went back to a time machine and somehow it was 2012, 2014 John Quick. And there was great saves. There was one that hit the crossbar but didn't go in. That could have been the tying goal. It was just, wow. Quick, quick should have been his number one star for this game. And great face-off goal by Juice to uh, get the ball rolling. And great uh, rebound play by Arbson to leave it for Deneau to score it. And if you, you can argue that that uh, Gibson was pushed, but A, that was his momentum. B, you're outside the crease. C, there is no C. That's still an only argument, and that's the right call. Um, they got two points. Vancouver and Vegas, I think, Chris Lupin. That's pretty decent, so we can hear at least one round for the playoffs. So hopefully, you can keep the ball rolling on Thursday. I'll well, see you after that game. Kings win 4 1 against Chicago and done against Chicago. I thought it was a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good game. Byfield's back in the lineup, which is always nice to see. I like the chemistry with Byfield and Kelly up. Um, who knew Philip Deneau coming into the year was going to be a power play uh, person? And uh, he does what he does best win faceoffs, contain the defense, the offense, and or greasy goals are in front of the net. Very impressive. I just like Athens Hughes goal there, which made it 3-1. The second goal was just pure luck and a nice screen in front. Fourth goal was perfect deception by Arvidsson. Because Chicago knows him from the time in Nashville, the shooter. And uh, he gives it off to the Thousand Oaks native Trevor Moore and scores a goal on Rancho Cucamonga native Colin Delio. It was great all around. Quick play, nice. I wonder how these next few games, how much will Peterson play? Because it's Quick's net right now and he ain't giving it back. Well, that's just for the next game to see. Let's go to that one. Kings beat the Ducks 4 2. Great game, aside from quick trying to be a, a baseballer and uh, taking a few too many penalties for my liking, but hey, against the Ducks, so it's always going to be a physical match when you, if you're a king. Great goal by Kaliev, and then uh, great one-timer by Matt Roy, and hey, nice to see Alex Edler get on the score sheet. Um, it was a really good game. And just keeps inching us to the playoffs, and hopefully uh, our inevitable dance in the playoffs with Edmonton is sooner rather than later. And uh, I was thinking about last night. It was a great, great thing to do for the Kings to do the handshake line with Getzloff as he retires. And I was thinking about this this morning. Getzloff is the only duck that I've respected in the last few years. And, they're, and not in terms of like on ice stuff, but just as overall, you you take a look at someone's career and be with one team is pretty special. Um, where this cross time rivalry goes, believe me, it's gonna stay. But we just have new players in town, the Zigris and Gontwa and all those guys, and uh, we're going to the Playoffs, hopefully soon. The magic number just keeps on ticking. Um, that's it for this weekend match. I'll thank you for watching on YouTube. Click like this video, subscribe to me, turn on post notifications if you want, and uh, share with people. 
listen to one of the many fallen audio networks. Buzzsprout, Apple, Deezer, Spotify, iHeart, Stitcher, Amazon, Google. Me and I'm likely on it. Just rate and review, five star, share with people. Thank you, and let's just get on to the next week. Goodbye.